Okay, everyone. So um, this week is B Week and our themed, one of our themed books is going to be this brilliant picture book by Alison Jay called um, Be and Me. Now, this book is a picture book. That means that there isn't any writing in it. Um, and that's going to be key to the tasks that you're going to have to do this week. Um, what I want you to do is really concentrate on the images um, that are in this book because you're going to use those to help you with your writing. I'm going to talk you through a bit of the book, a few pointers as to what to look at um, and focus on. And if you want to write any notes as well, um, maybe have a pen and some paper or a pencil and paper to write anything down for your settings, because that's what we're going to focus on um, today. So uh, the book is called Be and Me. And it's a story about friendship there, so that's a bit of a clue. Okay, so for this first couple of pages, have a think about what you can see, what buildings can you see, what's happening on the ground, is there any clues there that can start off you, the setting to your story, what senses, what will you be able to hear, see, smell, um, for the narration of this start, what can you see in the sky, have a good think there, write anything down that springs to mind, you will be able to look through this video a couple of times, but um, try and write as much as you can now. Okay, so this is a story now where the characters are introduced. Have a good focus on what's going on in this building here. I'll try and zoom in a little bit more. Uh, note down possibly what, what's going on within that building. Anything you can talk about. Um, anything you can narrate. Um, are they all doing the same thing? Are they all doing different things? Um, and then moving over to your next page. Can you see any characters introduced here? What's happening? Try and talk about the action between these three pictures. What's going on there? Again, what can you see? How will they be feeling? Okay, moving on to the next page. You can see the story's moved on a little bit more. Can you see a contrast between the start of this story and then towards the end? What's the character doing? Have you given the character a name, these two characters? Um, and think about what's happening towards the end of that um, page, what's the bee doing and what's the girl doing and what do you think the reasons are for that. And then we're moving on to the next page again, focus on your buildings, really concentrate on what people are doing, are they all doing the same thing, why might they be doing those things. Um, and then you can see there on the second page, has something changed, perhaps the weather, um, how might it have sounded, um, use your senses to describe that, uh, what's the girl doing. In your next pages here, you've got your characters, your main characters. Um, what do you think's happened in that first page? How do you think the bee must be feeling at that point um, in regards to the weather and why is it? Why is the bee waiting there? And um, then look on your second page. What's the girl doing? What can you see happening? What's happening to the bee? Um, has the relationship changed maybe? Do you think the way that the bee and the girl feel about each other has changed a little bit? Okay, now this is a good opportunity for a list here, um, good action list where you can see what they've been up to together and what they're doing. Think about all of the different things that they've been up to. Why do you think this, ha this is happening? Uh, what's changing between both of them? Does she still feel the same as she did at the beginning of the story, perhaps? Okay, so now things have changed with the B. The bee's obviously got bigger. Do you think in real life it would have got bigger? Or do you think that's maybe the way that she feels about the bee or how important the bee might be in her life? What are they doing here? How do you think she's feeling? Remember, it's all about friendship. How do you think the bee's feeling about both of them together? Do you think they're happy? Okay. Now, again, the story's moving on. You can see something happening in the first page. Where do you think they're going? What they're doing? How will they be feeling about it? Do they have a plan? What do you think the people in the building will be thinking about um, them leaving? Do you think they'll find it strange or normal? Um, think about their thoughts as well. What, what will they be thinking? Okay, so moving on now. now. On one side of the page, you can see one part of the city. And then a big contrast on the other side. Can you describe the contrast? Where do you think they're going? What senses will you hear? Will there be some senses that you can hear in the city? Contrast into the countryside. Can you hear more birds in the countryside? Less cars in the countryside? Less traffic? Okay. You can see them here in the field. 
Do you think the bee feels comfortable there? What do you think the bee's doing? Can you see what the bee's doing? And you can see they're both doing the same thing. Why do you think they're doing that? What, will they be talking to each other? Can you add some speech into your story, perhaps, about what they're saying to one another? It acts a little bit like a mini timeline from start to finish. Okay, and we've got a bit of a clue here. The sun's going down, so it must be towards the end of the story, possibly. Towards the end of the day, what's happening over here? What are the scattering? Where are they going? Why do you think they're doing this? What, what, where are they going to? Where have they come from? And why? And you can see here, again, another bit of a timeline as to what's happening. You can see something happening here. What do you think the discussion is between them? What are they doing? Why do you think this is happening? And then what's, where's the bee going? How do you think this boy feels and, and the girl? What are they discussing, possibly? What do you think she's saying to the bee? How do you think the bee feels? Going on to our final pages here. This is interesting. Is this another example of friendship, maybe? What do you think he's saying to her? And, and vice versa. And then what's happening in all of these different windows here? What do you think they're examples of? What she's seeing? Again, don't forget to use your senses. Things are massively changing between these. What do you think it's trying to show? And again, you can see here what's happening here. Think about the bee and what was going on at the start of the story. And then again, think about what's happening here. Do you think this image of the city looks a lot different to the first one? And why do you think that is? What lessons do you think have been learned through this story about friendship? And is the bee there? Is the bee seen? And there we go. What do you think that final meaning is to that story there? What do you think that the story is trying to show? What do you want to show as your story through that image? Okay, and you can see here we've got a message. So it says, be aware, when bees fly from flower to flower, they help plants to grow all over the world. Without bees, it's hard to grow food or flowers. As cities get bigger, there are fewer flowers in the world and fewer bees. You can help by planting flowers. The good news is bees love the most colourful and best smelling flowers. They don't have to be expensive plants. Bees love weeds too. Good bee flowers. You've got a list of all the good bee flowers. See if you can plant any this summer. And then you've got in here, bees love herbs such as mint, rosemary, sage and thyme. You can plant these in pots. I've actually got most of them uh, in my kitchen. Um, bees also need dry, dark hiding places to make their nests. They like to crawl inside little pipes into log piles or under an upturned flower pot. If you have a garden, leave a little corner undisturbed to encourage bugs and bees. Don't try to touch or pick up bees, though they might sting you. I'm sure we spoke about that at school, but they are very precious bees. Need to make sure we're looking after them. Okay, so that's your picture book story for this week. Have a really good think about the meaning behind that and how you can create your story. And I look forward to seeing them.